What is going on guys, your boy Sister here, bringing guys another Photoshop tutorial. I'm bringing you guys a cool 2D white background clean tutorial making, something like that. <laughs> I'm bringing you guys a cool, like, I'm basically going to show you guys how to make a nice 2D clean white background, like using the white backing and not a darker backing and such. Uh, if you look at my current YouTube background, if you're watching this a little bit earlier, you're going to see like my, my, my current YouTube, you know, scenario or revamp, I guess you can say, is like a nice white backing with orange, uh, little squares and a rectangle with some work I've done in the background. Uh, so if you're a graphic designer, I can have some nice pictures implemented as well. I'm sure you guys had to implement the pictures as well for your so like for your sake or whatever, using like stocks from like you know video games, and you want to implement like a couple pictures from a video game you play, and be like, hey, this is what I'm playing, so hey, stay here because you put the picture on your banner, so no people now know what you're playing. So there we go. Or if you're a graphic designer, obviously how people see your work, and you can actually show it on the banner itself, and be like, hey, I want to stay here, learn some things, or watch some speed arts, or order something from him. So that's how that goes. Uh, so yeah, anyways, I also implement the Tweak It CC series, or Tweak It series, uh, like I've done previously on my Tweak It CC, and I did it for a banner, so if you guys are looking for some really nice white background uh, banner, so if this tutorial didn't help too much, and you want to like basically purchase, like there's actually four times two is eight different style banners you can do, because uh, of the Tweak It CC series, or the Tweak It series, I keep saying CC, because I always first start with the CC, uh, I can show you like really quickly, there's a video though on it on my second channel, I can also link you guys to it. Uh, where I basically show you guys all about it. Uh, but the list of quick things, uh, things you gotta basically know about it is if you were to purchase it, you get these three different, or these four different themes. So this is the first theme, you know, this is the second, uh, the third, and then the fourth, just really quickly. And if you see what says theme one, and it says T1 styles, this means theme one styles. So if I drop down this button here, and I went to these two different groups, you have two different themes you can do for this one theme right here, and then so on and so forth. Let's go on to the third one or whatever. Open this up, you have the first one, you have theme here, and you have the other one here, which just has it, you know, sideways, put the logo in the middle, etc., etc. So this is basically a uh, banner that we're going to be teaching you guys today. And as well with that, you have different patterns you can do as well. So you have these little zigzags, uh, these little circles, and you have lighting. Mess around with that. Two different lighting effects. Obviously, you can change the color like this and go around with it. So it's a really cool idea. And you have CCs as well. You have a nice, like, enhancer that makes it nice, nice and vibrant. And then you have this one that makes it different, nice, a beautiful like a, a nice warm color there we go I don't know what I was going for there but I'm gonna make teach you guys how to do something like this actually today and I said like nice like five other times I just noticed but let's get going I'm done talking guys so I actually I gave you guys a white pack uh, I have AW stocks in here uh, basically you know advanced warfare stocks just so I, I'm gonna be using those for the example today and also the textures I use for basically making a nice white background you know backing I guess you can say and so you can download that right now just go ahead and download it let's get going and so I'm just going to drag the first one in here. I'm just going to drag this one in first. Uh, there's no like really good order. It just depends how you use your layer styles and such. So I'm just going to keep this one on normal. I would say start off like this. So you can actually get some color going for the white background. When I say that, I mean like a nice grungy, you know, a grayish white or whatever. We're going to fix it up at the end with a nice little little twist, I guess you can say. And then we're just going to keep on just implementing some stuff in here. So I'm going to go to here. I'm going to drag this one in. I'll try to use most of them or all of them really quickly. And kind of going to like, you know, show... Or like mess around with the layer styles I've done. I'm gonna use multiply on this one. Uh, blend it nice and well in there. Just lower the opacity a little bit. Let me have something like this. Toss that in there. Oh, what the heck? I didn't toss it in there. It's already super low. I will leave it like this too. Put this on normal. It's on six. And then we're gonna go back in here. Drop in something like this. It's a nice little metal texture. Fill that up. We're gonna put it on soft light. Nice little scratches now. I'm gonna lower this though just a little bit more. And also I'm gonna lower this cloud just a little bit more. Go back in here, use some cool plexus or whatever. So you can use your favorite stocks, but I just gave, basically gave you ones that really like work really, really well uh, with you know just white backgrounds, I guess you can say, or nice white, you know, backing. Uh, so I did use a completely just white, I, actually it's not completely white, it's like this right here, just a tad off white. Uh, that's what I filled it in with. And so I'm just going to quickly just erase this. Right, like so. Merge it. Overlay or soft light. We'll go to soft light. Then we have something like that. And we're just going to lower this one more time. Go back here, and we'll just end it off with this. So yeah, just basically just put all these nice textures on it. Like I said, I just showed you guys which ones I used. I gave you guys the pack as well. And then just to basically finish it off, I'm going to put this above this though. To finish this off, I'm going to combine all these layers together. So I'm going to hold Shift and Control J, Control E uh, to make a duplicate basically and to merge them together. So I'm going to go to Filter, 
uh, blur, Gaussian blur, lower to about two or so, press OK, and then just lower the opacity to about 80 just to have a nice little smooth background. Now, so if I uncheck and check this, you can see it kind of gets smoother and just blends it all together so it looks like one complete white background stock. Uh, that's how that works. And I'm going to kind of lower this just a little bit. And then once we're done here, you can either group them together by Control J or Control G, I mean. And then if you just want to merge together, just press Control E, and then you're ready to go. So, uh, all right, let's get going. So like I said, I'm going to show you how to do something like this. We're going to basically like put the circle in the middle. I can use different shapes. You can use your own pen tool shape, a triangle if you make a triangle, you know, a rectangle if you make a rectangle square, whatever. But I'm just going to use a circle. So I'm going to use the rectangle marquee tool, uh, not to rectangle marquee tool, the ellipse marquee tool. I say Marky. If someone, please, I think it's Marky, right? Or Marquette? Or I don't know. I just always say Marky. No one ever corrects me, so I'm going to keep on saying it. Uh, so I'm going to pull up my rules really quickly. We're going to delete that path. And I'm going to press M on my keyboard, make a nice little circle here. And to get this little ring I have here, on this one, I have a little ring around this. This is actually done separately. So what we're going to do is just make a nice little circle. And if you're doing this with a rectangle or a triangle or whatever, uh, it would be the same way you have to do it. So make the triangle, you can just do it smaller or whatever, you'll see what I mean in a second. So I'm going to basically, like, uh, on a new layer, right click, fill. I'm just going to use black, just because it really matter at all. Uh, black, deselect. I'm going to do another circle in, uh, in it. I'm holding shift to make a perfect circle, by the way. And just a little smaller one. So if I just put it in the middle and center it, the arrow keys, delete on my keyboard. Now I have a ring here. So if I just press W on my keyboard or go to the drop down magic wand tool, and if I select it on this layer, this little ring here, and if I just unselect this, you'll see it has a nice selection of a ring here. So what I want to do is I want to keep the same exact backing as I have on the, the circle itself or the ring itself. So I'm going to click back on the backing that we just had, that we just made, you know, we merged it together. Right click, layer via copy. You can be on your ring, you can be on the marquee tool or the magic wand tool, like I said. Right click, layer via copy, and then what you do here is if I just double click on this really quickly, drop shadow, lower this to distant, or lowest the distance to zero, and that's around the spread and size, all personal preference. Uh, but I like to like have, a, I'll say, I'll put five, and I'll say like nine, and then I'm gonna lower this black, or just change the color from this black to a nice gray, like so, press okay, lower the opacity just a tad, put a nice gradient overlay on it, simple, dark to white, and lower this to about 35. So basically just put drop shadow on, 0, 5, 9, and you know, gradient overlay, soft light, 35 opacity, and it's just a simple dark to white. So you see here we have a nice ring here now. So I'm just going to name this the ring, just because. There we go. And this we name our layers so we can go back to them easier. And then now for this one, I'm going to change this to, um, I'm going to make a nice little ring in the middle so we can get this little, like, little cool little, uh, kind of like this inner shadow we have here. We're going to do this separately. So we're gonna do. We're gonna click inside the ring with the uh, the W or not the W, the magic wand tool W on your keyboard for the shortcut, and you have a nice you basically select a little ring around it, right? Uh, it just selects the inner. Uh, if you're using a triangle, it, just, it will select the triangle. If you just click right in the middle of it on the selected layer here, and we go back to this, the backing here. Right click, layer via copy, and now on this one we're gonna double click on it. We're gonna go to inner shadow, distance at zero, stroke and size. Mess around with this. Uh, like the bigger the size, obviously the more the indention kind of feel you get. And I'm going to put this about 15 or 19, I guess. And I'm going to lower this or put this color to a nice little gray here. Press OK. And you can see what it did there. It kind of has a little focus in the middle. Press OK. And there we go. Now we have a simple, you know, a nice little circle surrounding uh, with a nice little ring, a nice little gradient here, and a little indention in the middle. So there's that. We can name this inner. I always do that. The end, of the end of the word always has a little lowercase. All right, so that's that. And so basically, what we're gonna do here to get this little, little stroke feel right here. We have like these little strokes surrounding it. I'll show you guys how to do that now. Uh, so I'm gonna use these circles again. Uh, like you, like a, you can use like anything, literally. So anyways, just so we can mix it up, we'll do a, we'll do like diamonds, I guess. I'm gonna right click, free transform, do these cool little diamonds, I guess. Right click, layer via copy, uh, on the backing itself, so you can get the same exact backing as the uh, you know the the square we just made on the same exact back. I don't know if you guys know what I'm doing there. Uh, just so I can do it again, just so I know, it, just so you know what I'm saying. I made this little. Obviously, I used the rectangle for this, and I clicked on this backing. So if I right click layer via copy, what that does is copy the exact backing. Uh, so it won't be you won't be able to see anything right now because it's the exact same thing. So if we double click on this, inner shadow changes down the distance. Uh, this is always make it zero, and then just mess with the stroke and size. 
like so. I'm going to change this color again to gray. I just like doing this because it looks, makes it look so much better. 22, a size of 22, stroke 12. And I'm going to uh, put another stroke on it, the actual, the actual stroke. And I'm going to change this to orange. I'm going to make it one up maybe. There we go. Press OK. And I'm going to just do it one more time. So I'm going to name this left because it's the left one. I'm going to do another, another one, probably a little smaller. Right click, transform, and have something like this. Press OK. Right click on the backing itself, layer via copy. And then just so we don't have to save, we can save some time. Right click on this one, copy layer style, and paste it on this one. And then there we go. And then you have right. So now you can see we have these two rectangles, I guess, or squares. Uh, with the stroke, but we, so we can get it around the circle itself. See, it's going through it right now because it's behind it. Uh, you can see over here it goes around it, nothing through it, whatever. It looks nice and clean. So the way we do that is we're going to basically click on the inner or not the ring. See, that's what you named the layer, so you know what I'm talking about here. Uh, so the, whatever the ring of your shape is, click on that. Use the magic wand tool to select it, and we go to select, modify, expand, and expand it by about three or four. I'm just going to try four right now. And you can see right now it selects it and deletes, or not deletes, but expands the, the pixels, I guess you can say, by four. So you can actually get a nice little cut perfectly. So there we go. We can, it just expands the, the selection by four. So if we went to these two left and right things and press delete on our keyboard, you can see here, and we just deselect. Now this basically has a nice little uh, uh, just a stroke around the circle besides having it you know going through or not showing. So you can have a nice little stroke here now. Uh, if just so happens if you have like a, a the stroke on the inside of the circle uh, Simply just select the inner uh, the circle right here and then just delete again on both of them just so you just you know, Keep the style going. Uh, so there we go now. You have a nice main focus in the middle and we're basically done This is where I would put my logo in the middle really now. I'll just put it right now just because Put the logo in the middle a good size put it above this Like so we'll just double click on this and a little trick, so you know, if you want to change like a, a like change the color, like select the color on the the backing or whatever, you press cap lock. If you have it on, it, ha it gives a nice little circle, and if you have it off, it gives you a little you know drop or whatever whatever this is. So you can just select it easier. Press OK. Have a nice orange now, and that's that. You just name that whatever logo. And then you can simply now oh really quickly, like I said, I'm going to show you with the stocks and stuff, right? So if I went back to this white background or white uh, banner, you know, pack thing, I have these little simple stocks here. I'll throw this one in just because uh, it can be pictures of yourself or whatever. Like I said before, I have a picture of yourself or have multiple pictures side by side and just erase them so it has like nice feathered edges and then just basically combine them two, like two together. I'll show you guys what I mean in a second just so you guys know, right? Just have it somewhere around it, right? Um, a little bit more bigger. And we're going to put this on the, the right one. So we're going to right click on the layer. Uh, clipping mask to it so I can only select inside this uh, this square only go to here go to the change the layer side of luminance and then lower the opacity to about maybe 38 or so uh, if you wanted a full picture there you could have a full picture but if you didn't you can simply take the eraser tool you have to rasterize the layer now take the eraser tool like feather the edges out a little bit just erase it a little bit go into the pack and just use this one for example oops didn't drag it in here we are, and then just lower this one, put it on this side, right click clipping mask. I'm gonna change, I'm gonna select the same layer style so I can give the same exact, you know, uh, the opacity and layer style as the other one. And then we're gonna simply delete, rasterize the layer really quickly, and erase this side where it covers the other picture. And then we can have two pictures in there, and then you can lower the, the opacity even more if you want, selecting both the control. And then there you go. You guys have some pictures in them. This can be your, like your work on one side, like another. If you do two different things, graphic designing, Call of Duty, or whatever you play, have it on you know both sides or whatever. And then there you guys go. You guys are basically done. This is where you can go to your favorite pack. You may be your 20k pack by me, Sussex so HQ. Uh, I'm not gonna put it in the description or if you don't have it yet. <laughs> and uh, you can just drag in social media icons. I'm just gonna drag in Twitter, like so. And I'm just gonna lower this. Gotta put it on top of everything though. Lower this. Shrink down the size like so, boom, and then just to kind of get a little a little cutter sch color scheme. I always say cutter color scheme. A oh, nice little gray or something, dark gray, and then the text can just be orange. You know, follow me at SSOHQ or whatever. If you don't follow me yet, you're crazy. Uh, like this, select the color. I don't like how big that A is though. It always does that. I just lower that a little bit. Actually, let's make the whole thing bigger, really quickly. 
Come on, come on. Work with me. A little bit bigger. Then lower the A a little bit. Like so. We can have that there. And then you have all the social media behind it or under it. Or have it say, like, you know, follow me or whatever. And have, like, me be a different color. Uh, just play around with color schemes and such. Because I really never go into, like, making, like, you know, finishing it off. I always just stop at a certain point. So you can have something like this just so you can have, you know, your Twitter or whatever. Have that there. And you can have other stuff. Whatever you want to do. You want to have, like, a little About Me section on your banner. You could. And they can just merge it all together with Control G. Uh, Control G. And then name it Twitter. So if you ever have to, you know, save the PSD and go back to it, you can change it. So, anyways, this has been a longer tutorial, but I actually want to show you guys how to do this, and I hopefully you guys understand it, and they can go back and use different shapes and stuff. Uh, you know, I really hope you guys really just use it into your own. What is this little piece right here? Where did that come from? Anyone know? Where did that Where did that come from? That's so weird. I don't know where that came. Oh, that's the Twitter. Oh, what the heck? Why is that there? Is there another logo? What the heck? Oh, there's another logo behind it. I didn't know I dragged it in the first time. My bad. I was like, why is there a little white spot? Anyways, <laughs> all right, that just totally got me off guard. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please leave a like if you guys enjoy these, like, cool, like, you know, giving you guys these little tips on making 2D backgrounds or whatever. And uh, just, you know, give this in the comment section. Go down be like, hey, I want to learn this, this, and this, and this. I'll try and get to it. Uh, so please leave your suggestions down. Follow me on Twitter, at SessoHQ. Check out my store, selfie.com slash SessoHQ. And if you guys wanted that Tweaked Banners uh, series, uh, you can go download it as well or purchase it. So thank you guys so much. Leave a like if you guys wish. 200 likes on this video equals the secret download below. Peace out. Sesame out. Later.